Good day! Welcome to our math class. In this video presentation, we will learn about volume of solid figures. Lesson 1. Volume of a prism, cube, cylinder, pyramid, cone, and sphere. With our learning competency, finds the volume of a prism, cube, cylinder, pyramid, cone, and sphere. Before we begin, let's recall. Match the formula of a volume of the solid figures in column B with the name of the solid figures in column A. Write the letter of the answer before each number. You are given 5 seconds to finish. Time's up. Now, what is volume? Let's study the concept. Volume is the amount of space in a solid figure. It is measured in cubic units. The volume can be obtained by multiplying the area of the base of the solid figure times its height. That is volume equals area of the base times height or we have V equals B times H. Where B stands for the area of the base and H stands for the height. Let's have first the rectangular prism. The volume of a rectangular prism is equal to the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is obtained by multiplying the length times the width. Look at this example. A rectangular prism with a length of 7 meters and a width of 3 meters and a height of 4 meters. Given this area of the base times the height, or since the base is rectangle, we have length times width. So we have the formula volume equals length times width times height. That is V equals 7 times 3 times 4. So the volume is 84 meters cube or 84 cubic meters. Next solid figure is a cube. A cube is a special kind of rectangular prism because its edges or sides are equal. Look at this example. A cube with one side measures 15 centimeters and another side that measures 15 centimeters and another 15 centimeters. Their sides are equal. We have the given formula volume equals length times width times height. Since its base is a square, we use V equals S times S times S, or S stands for the side. That is, V equals S cube, or V equals 15 cube. Or we can have this 15 times 15 times 15. That is 3,000 375 centimeters cube. Next solid figure is a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of the circular base of the cylinder times its height. 
Look at this example. A cylinder with a radius of 3 feet and a height of 6 feet. Let's use this formula. V equals pi r squared times height. Or H. Volume is equal to 3.14 times the radius 3 squared times the height 6. That is V equals 3.14 times 9 times 6. Volume is equal to 169.56 feet cube. Next is a pyramid. The volume of a pyramid is equal to the one-third of the area of the base times its height. If you have a rectangular pyramid, the base is rectangle. That is why the volume is one-third times length times width times height. Example, a rectangular pyramid with a side or a length of 3 centimeters, a width of 2 centimeters, and a height of 10 centimeters. Using the formula, V equals Length times width times height divided by 3. That is V equals 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 10 centimeters divided by 3. That's V equals 60 divided by 3. So the volume is 20 centimeters cubed. Another kind of a pyramid is a square pyramid. Now, if you have a square pyramid, the base is a square. So, the volume is one-third times S squared times height. Look at this example. A square pyramid with one side measures 10 centimeters. And, of course, another side that measures another 10 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters. Using the formula V equals S times S or S squared times H or height divided by 3. V is equal to 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 12 centimeters divided by 3. That is 1,200 divided by 3. The volume of the square pyramid is 400 centimeters cubed. Next is a cone. The volume of a cone is equal to the one-third of the area of the circular base of the cone times its height. Look at this example. A cone with a radius of 4 decimeters and a height of 6 decimeters. You have this formula, V equals 1 third times pi times radius squared times height. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 4 decimeters squared times 6 decimeters. So, we have 1 third times 3.14 times 4 squared is 16 times 6. That is equal to V equals 301.44 divided by 3. The volume of a cone is 100.48 decimeters cubed.
Next is sphere. The volume of the sphere is equal to the four-third of pi times the radius cube, where pi is 3.14 and r is the radius. Given this example, a sphere with a radius of 6 feet. Using the formula, V equals 4 third times pi times radius cubed. Where V is equal to 4 thirds times 3.14 times 6 feet cubed. That is... 4 times 3.14 times 216. 216 is the 6 cube divided by 3. That is 2712.96 divided by 3. The volume of the sphere is 904.96. 32 feet cube. To summarize, let's have this table with a solid figure or the geometric shape and its volume formula. We have first the rectangular prism and its formula. Volume equals length times width times height. The cube and its formula, volume equals S cube. And a cylinder with a formula of volume equals pi r squared h. And a rectangular prism with a formula, volume equals one third times length times width times height. And a square pyramid with its formula, volume equals one third times S squared times height. And a cone with a formula volume equals one third times pi times radius squared times height. And a sphere with a formula volume equals four thirds times pi times radius cube. Remember, the volume of a solid figure is obtained by multiplying the area of the base and it's high. Now let's apply what you have learned. Find the volume of each solid figures. One, a rectangular pyramid with a length of four feet, width of five feet, and a height of three feet. Two is a rectangular prism with a length of 12 decimeters, width of 2 decimeters, and a height of 2 decimeters. Three, a cylinder with a radius of 2 inches and a height of 6 inches. Number four, a cube with one side that measures 11 centimeters. And number five is a sphere with a radius of three meters. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.